Now going into interface, so what I'm going to do is that when you look at all these buttons and then um, sometimes you have a problem with this or sometimes you have a problem with this, oh, what, what, what is the name of, of this? It's, um, and then what is this? What is all this? What are the names? The first thing you want to know is um, this book one here is called title bar. This is the name of your Excel file. So the Excel file could be, um, per, the, the file name can be um, family budget for 2020 and things like that. I'm, I'm just going to assume that, um, that everyone will have a very basic level. I know some of you are very confident in using, so please bear with me. This one is the save button here, which you can also save when you um, type in, when you go to file and do save or save as. There's a help button here where you can ask questions about if you have any trouble at all. Okay, so this entire bar here, so file, home, insert, page layout, this entire bar here is called menu bar. You can see how the, the theme remains. It's all the bars here. Um, now, when you get to all these icons, all these icons, basically they are called ribbon. I'm not too sure why they're called ribbon. It doesn't make sense to me at all, but um, all the functionality, all the icons here, they're called ribbon. And I'm gonna show you like you can actually um, you can actually add some of the functions here. So it, sh it kind of show, um, there are some functions where it's not easily accessible and you can add it on here, such as like strike through. It's, it's usually not here. I have to add it to, I have to add this icon to be in this ribbon here. Okay, the next thing is, um, so when you look at this, one thing here and you see like there's a there's a vertical line this is called group and so when you go to Microsoft Office support and it say that go to the font group this is what it meant and then go to the alignment group this is this is what it meant go to the styles group this is what it meant all right let me actually erase this because this is too big. And then let me kind of do this here. Okay, this is called, oops. Oh, this is a group. This is a sales group. All right, now next. This one here is called formula bar. Formula bar is going to be your best friend in Excel. When you do some function, average function, whatever you type in here, it will show up in the formula bar. This is where you can troubleshoot when you think, oh, the numbers doesn't look right. All right, next is worksheet or tab, worksheet tab or tab. So I want to draw attention to down here and you see there's a sheet one, this is worksheet tab, or I usually call it tab. There's a add button here, the plus sign, you can add like sheet one, two, three, or four. Because I'm doing annotations, so I can't really use the Excel function now. But when I, when, I use, when I say like refer to the bottom of Excel sheet, the tab, or when I say that this tab or that tab, that when I say sheet one tab, this is where I'm talking about. It's not up here at all, but you can add as many tab or as many sheets as you want. The next one here, so on the bottom right here, there are three different views you can view your Excel. The first one, let's see here. So this first one here is the normal layout. Normal layout view, actually. I call it normal layout view. Right now, I'm at normal layout view where you can see that there's a lot of empty cells and there's no lines or things like that. The second one is, uh, second one, second one is called the page layout view. 
So you can actually print Excel sheet. You can actually make a form out of Excel sheet. And I actually like it better because you know how Word document formatting can be really, really hard sometimes. When you're trying to fit like the Excel sheet, when you're trying to turn Excel into form and you want the form to be able to print out, you can try to format it into like a page and then when you click page layout view, that's how you can look at it from a print preview version. And this one here is called page break preview. Page break preview. So basically this is another um, place where where you can click this and you can look at the print um, the print border. So like Word document, it has the print border. Page break preview will show you that. Okay, another one is zoom in and zoom out. I'm getting more and more things here. I apologize for that. You see this very gray thing here? It's kind of um, transparent, hard to see, but you can actually zoom in, zoom out the, the Excel because sometimes it's just too small. So zoom function. So right now we're looking at 100%. If I want to make the cells bigger, I can make it to 150% by clicking plus. If, if you have too many numbers in here and you want to make it smaller, you can click negative here, which sometimes it allows you to um, shrink it until like 50% or more. All right, the next one is, let's see here. You can see there's A, B, C, D, E, F, and one, two, three, four, five here. This one is called a column cell. Well, right now it's column. And then the number here indicates rows. So row. For example, if I am Talking about maybe, okay, so if I say the cell at K3, so you look at the column K here, and then you look at row three here. So this is basically K3. And if I want a range of cell, like maybe four cells, so from like J to M, I have J6 here, And so this is K6, this is L6, and this is M6. This is like a range of cell, which it has some function I'll talk about later. It has something to do with um, summation, average, things like that. Because I'm using the Office 365 function, so there's a share button here, which means you can share your Excel sheet. So think about um, budgeting where you need multiple people to approve or look at it. You can definitely send them via email or you can share it with your fellow coworkers. So share function. So um, it's very similar to Microsoft Word, but in my mind, Excel is just, it has greater function. That's all I'm going to say. I do have preference with Excel. So, okay, let me save this screenshot. You will get this screenshot. It's kind of like your um, reference. All right, Tristan, so you want to know how to add the structure in a new group. So what you're going to do is um, in ribbons here, anywhere you try to right click, and then you say customize the ribbon. So what you want to do is on the right hand corner, this is your main tabs because these are your main tabs. And it has all this group, right? If you want to add new things, you want to add new group first. Well, I don't, I don't want this new group here, sorry. So I'm gonna remove it. Um, so because I want the structure probably after font or before font, so I'm gonna add new group. Okay, so I have a new group custom here. Then from here, I can look at, um, all tabs or all function, I think. No. Comment, commands not in the ribbon. And um, you have to kind of search for it. There's a strike through, and then you click add. So that's how it gets added to the new group. When you click OK, now you have a new group with strike through. 
now I want to remove strike through because I have both. I'm, I am going to remove the strike, strike through, just remove it and then click OK. So then it's gone. Adley has a question. Is it possible to make headings in the columns where A, B, C are and not in the row like number one? I don't believe so. I think this is what you're referring to, the headings, right? It will always be A, B, C, and then rows will always be one, two, three, unfortunately. But you might be thinking about transposing table, which I will talk about um, the function. Okay, so some of the things that I couldn't show you just now, let me show you right now. This is called an active cells, and when you have this green box here, it means that this is active and you can type things here. If you see that I typed in, in this active cell, it will show up in the formula bar. So this is called the X, uh, active cells. Uh, what else? Okay, I want to show you the normal layout. So this is the normal layout. When I point to it, it say normal. When I say page layout, you can see how it becomes a page. And you can make a form out of this one. And you can print it. Now the third one is called page break preview. I mean, okay, this is where I use the function zoom in because it's way too small. So I click plus. I think this one, I'm not too familiar with this function actually, but I think because this is to the extent I have put in something, so that's why it's only show up this little amount of things. I'm going back to the normal layout, which I usually use. Okay, is there anything else? Okay, I want to show you how to add sheet where you can just add and add and you can rename it to like program one program two or something like that and you can actually move the sheet to between program one and two or you can move it at the back okay let me see here 